Welcome back everybody to the Little Piece of Heart Kitchen. You are here with me, Kathleen Hart, and I'm gonna teach you how to make a really great dinner that is such a go-to for me, and it's a good base, and you can kind of go in a bunch of different directions, whether you're low-carbing or not. It is my Sloppy Joe Stuffed Peppers. Now this is one of my recipes that's got the most likes and views on Instagram, so I wrote the recipe right away after I took a picture of it, and now I'm just making the video to accompany it. So I wanna take you over the list of ingredients. It might seem a little overwhelming for me because usually I'm like a, like a five ingredient pony over here, like just doing everything very easily, very simply, but it is a couple extra things. But once you see what they are, you're gonna be like, oh, it's not that bad. So don't get overwhelmed. So we're gonna go over first the veggies. We have some olive oil here, which you'll see that I'm gonna to use to saute some white onion, some chopped celery, some carrot, and then some chopped garlic. Then the next phase is our spices. We have black pepper, some salt, a pinch of allspice, some cayenne pepper, and some paprika, and some dried thyme. In here I have my low sugar ketchup, my favorite brand from my Chats with Cat video, my Heinz low sugar ketchup. In here I have Worcestershire sauce, along with some red wine vinegar, some tomato sauce, not marinara sauce, not, you know, Sunday sauce. This is strictly tomato sauce. So make sure when you buy it, you get the one that says just tomato sauce. I have my ground beef over here. I have four bell peppers that we're gonna be stuffing. And then for topping at the end, I have some cheddar cheese. Use whatever kind of cheese you like. I think cheddar goes the best with this. And today I have a mixture of white and yellow. So let's get started with prepping our peppers to go into the oven. I have my oven preheating. It's now up to temperature at 400 degrees. And what I'm gonna do is take my peppers and we're gonna take the top and we're gonna chop it right off because we are gonna stuff these. So we wanna make sure that we take the top off. So what I'm gonna do is take the top off of all of these and then I'm gonna take out the center where the seeds are and I'm just gonna run my knife along the inside gently because you don't want to puncture it and then you can just grab your finger grab a garbage bowl and just it should loosen out and then just tap it like this to get any of the loose seeds out and then I like to go in with my fingers and just pull out some of the ribs because we don't want those then it leaves more room to stuff it with sloppy joe fillings so you want to clean this baby out as good as you can get all those seeds out perfect and then here's a little trick that I like to do I like, whoop, I like to take a muffin tin just like this and the peppers fit perfectly in there. They don't need to, they just, you just want it so they don't topple over. So this is great for when you're ready to stuff and also when we're prepping them. So I am going to take all of the uh, seeds and then the inner inners of the peppers out of the rest of these and then I'll meet you back here and show you what to do next. So I have all of my peppers all hollowed out now reserve the tops, because I'll show you what to do with them in one second. I'm going to pop these into my 400 degree oven for eight minutes, and that will just help them soften, and then we'll be able to move on to sauteing the veggies and making this ooey gooey sloppy joe. So just hold on one second while I pop these in the oven, and then I will show you what to do with the tops to these peppers. So now what we wanna do to the pepper tops is just cut around the stem. I already cleaned the bottoms of all the seeds and everything, and then the stems we can get rid of. So what we're doing here is not really wasting anything with these peppers, because I don't want to throw away the tops because there's still a lot of, you know, peppery goodness right here. So I want to add this to my filling. So it's going to go along with the celery and the carrot and the onion. And we're just going to have three beautifully colored peppers going into the sloppy joe sauce. And the best part about this too is use whatever peppers you like whatever peppers are at your store, whatever ones are on sale, it doesn't matter. I just happened to pick up a little package with you know, four of a different color. So I got two orange, a red, and a yellow. But use green, use all red, use all yellow. It's whatever you wanna do. So what I'm gonna do now is just take these pieces that I have and just chop them about as big as the onion, maybe a little bit bigger. And I'm just gonna slice them down it can be rustic. You don't have to have every single piece looking exactly the same. This is a perfect size here. I don't want to make this any harder on anybody. But when this cooks down with the sloppy joe, 
it's going to be really good. It's going to soften and you're gonna have nice little pieces of pepper running all through it, which will be even better once you stuff it into your sloppy joe, into your peppers. So it'll be really, really good. So I'm gonna finish chopping this up and then we will start sauteing our veggies and we'll get this sloppy joe party going. So now we are at the stove. We're ready to start cooking our veggies. I have my skillet here with about two tablespoons of olive oil that I showed you earlier on medium high heat. We want this to be kind of like cooking the veggies quickly and getting like a good sear on them. And if they start to brown, it's perfectly fine. We just don't want them to burn. So now that my oil is hot, I'm gonna add in my onion right in. We know our oil's hot because we hear that sizzle. Beautiful. All right, next we're going to go in with our celery and our carrot. And I chopped my carrot pretty thinly. That way I can add everything all together. If my carrots were a little bit thicker, I would have to add them in first and then kind of cook them for a little bit because they take a little longer to soften. Then we're going to go right in with our peppers that we had from the stems, or I should say the tops, right in. And then we are going to just give this a good shake and we're gonna soften these veggies for about eight to 10 minutes. So I'll meet you back here. If you feel like the veggies are getting brown too quickly and they're on the verge of burning, just turn your heat down a little bit to medium. But I like to get them, kind of keep them moving with my spatula and really get a good nice sear on them. So I just got my veggies kind of sweating out and moving around in the pan and I totally forgot to tell you guys, grab a little pinch of salt maybe a quarter of a teaspoon, eighth of a teaspoon, not even. And then you're gonna just put that in, whoop, lost one. And just mix this around. This is gonna help draw some of the liquid out of the veggies, which means we're just gonna get them softening even quicker. So my veggies are all nice and sweated down. It's been about eight minutes. I'm going to add in my garlic. I don't want the garlic to burn, so I'm adding that in now. And I'm just gonna mix it around for about 30 seconds just to get a nice little sear on it. In the meantime, while I'm stirring the garlic, I just wanna show you guys, these are the peppers that I had in the oven for about eight minutes, and they're nice and soft now. This is gonna be great for, unpredictable chows, you just never know when they're gonna start seeing someone or think they see someone and start going crazy. But anyway, the peppers are nice and soft. Now, if I didn't pre-bake them, they might be a little too crunchy when you're eating them with the sloppy joe filling. So I like to pre-bake them just for a couple minutes just to get them nice and soft and ready to be stuffed. Our garlic is done. So right now I'm gonna just turn my heat off and I'm gonna take these veggies and put them into my little container here and we're just gonna reserve these. The next step is I'm going to put my skillet back on the heat, the same one on high heat and we are going to cook off our ground beef. You don't want to miss it. On to the next step, we're going to brown our ground meat. So what I'm going to do is cook this until it's fully cooked, drain off the fat and then I'll meet you right back here. So I just drained all my meat and what I'm going to do is add back in my veggies that I just cooked earlier. I'm going to scoop them all back in. This is going to give us such nice flavor too. All of that in all the juices to you, want everything back in there. Give this a good mix. And then what we're gonna do is go in with all of our spices. All the spices are going right in, everything in there. And then just give this a good toss. And I'm gonna turn my heat down at this point to about medium heat. And I just wanna get those spices all evenly distributed. Then I want to go in with some of my Worcestershire and my red wine vinegar. Again, mixing. Now we're going to add the tomato products in. So first I'm going to go in with my tomato sauce. All that in there. And then lastly, my ketchup. I'm gonna keep this at medium heat, stirring frequently, and cook for about 10 minutes. And this is gonna get nice and bubbly, and it's gonna thicken up all on its own just from cooking for about 10 minutes. 10 minutes later, we have a nice, thick, sloppy joe mixture. 
even if you weren't going to stuff this into peppers, plop this onto some burger buns and you have a party. It's so, so, so good. What I'm going to do though is do some peppers, do the low carb version. I have my peppers that I baked earlier. I'm going to turn my heat off. I have my cheese waiting for me. And what I'm going to do is just spoon this hot mixture right into my peppers. And I'm going to fill each one up to the top and then I'm going to top it with some cheese. And do not be afraid to overstuff these. It's totally fine. I did it. I tested it. I know that it's good to go. Top them with some cheese. Now I'm going to put this into my 400 degree oven for about six minutes. Then I'm going to pop it on high for the broiler and do that for about one minute just to get the cheese nice and bubbly and golden brown. And then I'll meet you back at the island and we'll taste one of these babies. How gorgeous do these look, guys? They smell phenomenal. And like I said before, if you're not going to use the Sloppy Joe mixture to stuff peppers, by all means, put it in some burger buns. This is an amazing Sloppy Joe recipe that I came up with just using a couple of handful of ingredients that you're gonna find in your pantry. So I know this is gonna be super, super hot, <laughs> but I cannot wait anymore. I'm gonna go in at least for a little piece of this filling. I just wanna taste it for you guys. Oh, it's so, it looks amazing. Very, very hot. Oh my gosh. Picture, wow. Well, picture the best sloppy joe you ever had and kick it up like 10 notches. Because of the cayenne pepper that I added, there's a nice spicy, not really spicy, but warm, hot kick at the end. You need to make it that way. It's so, so, so good. And then as you can see, the peppers and the onions, they haven't lost their shape. They're still there. So you get kind of like this nice crunch, but it's like a mellow crunch. It's so, so good. Don't ever buy Sloppy Joe from a can. It only takes a handful of ingredients and you guys need to try to make this. You won't be sorry, or I promise you. So if you wanna try this recipe, click on the link below. I'm gonna put my blog, the link to my blog, so you guys can click on it, get the recipe, get all the measurements for everything I did today. Please subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up if you guys like this video, and stay tuned because I'm going to be cooking more low carb, first little recipes for everyone to enjoy. See you later.